What's good, YouTube? Jerry's Twin, Jet Locks back with another video. And today, we're going to be talking about, well, I'm going to give y'all the pros and cons. So, really, just comparing and contrasting the two of the most, if not the two most popular starter lock methods, which are the two strand twists versus the cone coils. Now, this here is my second set of locks. And on my first set, I use cone coils. This second set, I started with two strand twists. So I have a little bit of experience on the two methods. So I'm gonna try to give y'all the pros and cons of both, both of the methods. So you can try to see which one, you know, may work for you. Now, if you were like me, rocking a low haircut, you know, way school boy, and once you've made that decision to actually like lock your hair, or you wanna lock your hair, most of the time you may have like a, um, a lock inspiration or I think some of the uh, some of the ladies call it like lock crushers or something like that. Um, you get like super excited. For me, it was my older cousin. He had locks in high school, and I was like, you know, I want to grow my hair to get locks. So initially, you know, you're not getting a haircut. Maybe you're just getting a line. A lot of people may say this may be the first um, ugly or awkward stage when you're first growing your hair out before you get locks. And so you're in the mirror like every month two months, you know, picking your hair out, pulling your hair, trying to see, you know, is it long enough or how much is it growing? I mean, cause you were excited. And that leads me to um, the first method, which is cone coils. Generally, you can start your lock process sooner on cone coils with uh, shorter hair. So if you're looking at two strand twists, if you think about it, you're, you're taking two section you know parts of hair and you're twisting them together but on your cone coil you know you're sectioning your hair and you're just using a comb to like twist it up so if you're trying to get it started faster or which one you can um, start your hair with with shorter hair generally you can do that with with cone coils now you can do two strand twists on short hair but it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot harder on you know with the cone coils and you know that leads me to another another point where if you're doing cone coils on shorter hair, that's going to require you generally to use more product to keep uh, to keep your your hair like coiled up. So if you're somebody who don't want to use you know product or much product, um, it is going to require you to use something to kind of hold hold your hair in that position. If you're starting with low hair and with cone coils, so next if you want to talk about um, washing your hair. When you have the cone coil method, when you started with the cone coil method, you kind of have to like baby your locks more than you would on two strand twists. So you're going to want to have, you wouldn't want to keep it, you know, tied down or under a do rag as much as possible. And if you're someone like me who suffers from or has to deal with sobriety dermatitis that requires you to have to wash your hair more frequently than someone who doesn't. And of course, with washing the cone coils, as soon as you wash your hair, I'm talking about really wash. Now I've seen a herd of people where they do like these fake washers, they use like a, a net or mesh cap or something like that to try to wash your hair. But for anybody who has like dandruff or sobriety dermatitis, you know that, that, doesn't, that doesn't work. You really need to get in there and wash your hair. And with cone coils, as soon as you wash your hair the first time, like a good wash with the cone coils, they're, pre they're pretty much they're pretty much coming out. So as far as washing, if you need to wash your hair more frequently, you may lean toward um, two strand twists over cone coils. Now, one benefit of cone coils I can tell you is your your locks or your starter locks are more cylindrical and they have a more uniformed look if you can um, see what I'm saying about that. Because with the cone coils, you know, they're gonna have that, that cylinder shape. Um, they're gonna be pretty much the same, the same size. And, you know, you can have them uniform over, over your entire head. Now with the two strand twist, if you're wanting thicker locks, you can generally start um, a thicker lock process with two strand twists. Because you're taking, like we said before, two section pieces of hair, or, um, sections of hair and you're twisting them together and that's going to form generally a thicker lock than if you're just doing 
two strand twist and also with washing on two strand twist even like giving getting a, a, a vigorous wash with two strand twist they may come out some but not as much as the cone coil method and you can also let's say if they do come out you know you can easily retwist you know the the sections of the parts back together no problem and with the two strand twist also you can and you don't have to use you know you can use little to no product so if you're somebody who and so you might have scalp issues or um you don't want to have to deal with build up or experience build up two strand twist you really don't need you need little to no product for your hair to lock or lock up now a con or one thing that some people may not like about starting with two strand twist is sometimes your locks you know they can be different different sizes um different widths you also may notice that some people that start with two strand twists, it takes a while for them to lose the the twist pattern throughout their hair. Um, Cause of course with the cone cord, you don't have a, you don't have a twist, like a two strand twist pattern. You just have the, the cone cord pattern. So if you're thinking about, you might have a long, um, long strand of hair, or depending on how long your hair is when you start, that two strand twist pattern is gonna take, you know, a little minute before before it goes away um just looking at my notes now as far as working out if you work out funny story i had a um i had a teammate that played football who um he was growing his hair out you know one summer growing his hair out it was like the first football game of the year i think the day before um he got a line tape got his uh hair twisted up comb cord and after the first football game, he was back to a fro. <laughs> so with working out, like I said, with the with the cone cord method, you are gonna have to baby you more. If you're somebody that works out, um, it may be easier for you. Of course, with having to wash your hair, and of course with uh, sweating and having your your starter locks stay in, your locks are gonna stay better starting off with two strand twists, other than you know rather than than cone coils. Now, I know when I initially got my first set of locks, which I started with um, cone coils compared to now, it seems like now I do see more people starting with two strand twists. And even like now, I feel like the two strand twist is more of like a style because I see a lot of people that get, you know, two strand twists or like high top two strand twists. Um, bald or faded on the sides who are not even planning on locking their hair they just use it for a style so the two strand twist method does seem a bit more stylish now than it did you know 10 10 years ago or whatnot um the next thing that you want to you want to think about when it comes to two strand twist is make sure you get your two strand twist done i guess correctly or have some type of idea of how you're doing it because one thing that my loctician told me is that with two strand twists, you wanna make sure that you don't get the middle of your lock to open up. So let's just say, I'm gonna use my fingers for a second. This is your like your two strand twist. You don't want the inside to like open where you have like a gap in your locks. And that's generally something that you don't have to worry about uh, with the cone coil. So if it's not done correctly, depending on, you know, how's it going, you can experience, I guess, the opening of the center of your two strand twist if you're using it that way and for the last point i want to make which i know is a big question for a lot of people they want to know which one locks the fastest based on my experience the cone coil method i did get my hair to lock up faster than the two strand twist now maybe that's because they were all together like i said i'm somebody who needs to wash their hair more frequently and when i initially got my cone cords installed I washed my hair first two weeks later, and after those first two weeks, I was already experiencing um, budding in my locks, um, as opposed to the two-strand twist method. It took a, it took maybe a few weeks later before I started noticing that my locks were beginning to bud. So, like overall, my my locks did lock my starter locks locked faster on the comb coil method rather than the two-strand twist method. But yeah, so that's just the pros and cons based on based on my experience, um, based on the things that I've gone through, you know, experience locking my hair in both methods. Um, if you find this video helpful, leave a thumbs up. If you wanna follow me on this lock journey, uh, 
drop a subscribe, turn up notice on so you don't miss a post. Share the video with somebody who might need it, but hey, y'all know what it is. Jared's twin, jet locks, stay locked.